the studio. She's one of them celebrities that anytime I get her in the studio, I tend to run out of words. I don't know what to say because, my goodness, she's so pretty. Um, we're going to talk about what she's been up to lately. The last time she was on, I think, it was generally about the, the person she was dating. So that's what we talked about. We didn't really get into what she's been up to, you know, because there were rumors out there and she wanted to talk about it. And yes, yeah, she confirmed it on the show only. Yes. And uh, she's back again. She's been doing a lot these days. She's been making Ghana proud and the movie industry proud by uh, being part of some very, very, very prestigious festival in Africa. We get to talk about that. Uh, she's in the studio. She's looking fine as ever. We've got Nadia Bari in the studio. How are you doing, darling? I'm good, thank you. Great. It's great to be back. Yes. I yeah. love your set. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. I'm loving the, the whole thing. Everybody comes in here and they say they love it. That's, that's really good. So, what have you been up to? It's been a while. was the last time we spoke? Two years ago? I guess, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, like three years. Three years? Yeah. Wow, it's been a while. Right, yeah. It's been a while. Because I remember um, the last time I, 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 tra you know, I tra was trying to get you on, you were traveling. Yeah, so it's, it's been a while, three years. What have you been up to? Work, basically. Okay. Um, I've been filming like crazy. I've been um, working on personal stuff as well. Okay. Um, I do a lot of things outside the country, but okay. personal, okay. you know. Um, and then I'm working on my foundation, which is going to be launched. I'm not really certain when. Okay. And then um, my website. Okay. Um, yeah, so I've really been busy. Very, very busy. Now, yeah. you're going to tell us about the foundation, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll, we'll talk about that, that later on. But you have been very, very busy. I've been extremely busy, like so busy. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like <gasps> I might break down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it, it must be very exciting because then um, being so busy, uh, does it come with the fact that you've, you've become such um, a huge superstar all over Africa? I like to think that um, I'm, I'm very fortunate. And um, yeah, I'm very blessed. <laughs> okay. You've been doing a lot of movies, mm -hmm. you know, and you just mentioned before we started that you just finished doing one last week. I mean, tell us about some of the movies you've done quite recently. Um, I've I've played a lot of different kinds of roles. Um, I'm very versatile. I love to be that because that's the only way I can challenge myself to know that I'm actually an actress. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'll just be playing me, which is not good for my brand mm -hmm. you know um, I've been I've I've worked on movies that I've played um, I was a double and the, the other twin was a prostitute and the other one was just um, she's just a normal girl mm -hmm. you know and then the recent one that I just finished working on um, I was married to to to, to a pastor and there's just like so many problems because I wasn't your typical good girl okay. that you know yeah so I've been working <laughs> okay have you have you have you caught into attack because for most Hollywood actors and actresses it gets to a time they think you know what? I think I've done everything and I want to do something that I've always wanted to do so they just um, get up one day and say listen I'm producing my own movie and this is a role I really wanted to play and this is what I'm going to do you think you've got into that time you probably want to do something like that so oh yeah definitely I'm looking forward to reinventing myself um, j definitely channeling that direction um, I've basically because I feel like I haven't been challenged enough um, I want to do a whole different stuff that producers are not giving me the opportunity to so um, hopefully eventually when I start producing my own movies I'm gonna bring that side of me that I've always wanted the world to see mm -hmm. out okay. yeah okay the last time you were here there's a question I wanted to ask um, at that time, it would have seemed to be a good question, but now it, it probably seems like a silly question, but I'm still going to ask anyway. <laughs> why did you decide to be an actress? Why, why acting? Um, wow. It's always been my art and passion. I've always wanted to be an actress, right from when I was, maybe because I was born into a family of art. Mm -hmm. um, my dad, as you know, yes. um, yeah, so I grew up working with him on set. You know, apart from that, it's, it's always been a dream. Okay. I've always, I remember times when I would go to my room, probably after I've watched a really good movie, and then act with, act it out. yeah, with <laughs> my teddy bears, you know, or probably look at myself in the mirror, and um, act it out. Yeah. So f I'm glad I'm living my dreams. Okay. I heard this. Now, um, tell me if I'm wrong. I think you've got a very good singing voice. <laughs> 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 um. You heard? Yeah, I heard. You know, people wow. say things, you know. 
Well, I'm glad they think I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But you sing? Um, I sing, but not professionally. No, I okay. sing like sing for my family, like okay. sing in the shower, kind of singing. Okay. Um, yeah. You know, the person who told me says she's got a very good voice. You know, <laughs> wow. she can sing, but I don't know why she's not singing. <laughs> Well, I don't know about that. Can you sing something for me? Oh, no. Oh, hell no. Come on. Why? She should sing for us, right? <laughs> no. Just one line. Look I just want to hear you your voice. Here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I, no. You're not, you're not, you I'm not eat. in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Oh, Charlie, you guys, you need to get her. Yeah, <laughs> well, maybe it's them. Like, everybody, I'm just, like, so embarrassed. Like. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> if, I'm shy. If you haven't, if you haven't, um, done um, acting what else would you have done oh um, I probably would have been an architect I okay. have I've got a serious passion for buildings um, every time I drive past an uncompleted building there are like a zillion and one things running through my mind as to what I can do with it you know um, I love interior decoration um, I'm always doing something to my house like every okay. time yeah so probably an architect okay. yeah or maybe a flight attendant ever okay. since I am I started traveling I've always admired the flight attendant I see. yeah I see. you've got good taste in clothes as well maybe fashion designer um yes um for my mom <laughs> my mom dresses me so okay. um I think probably yes I would have done something with her okay yeah okay I love clothes there's I something love. we're going to talk about um along the way but I'm getting the impression since we started talking about clothes um we probably want to jump into it right now but I, I'm, I'm reminding you um she was at this festival they want to talk about I've got uh, footage of it I'm going to show it to you still in the studio with Nadia Buari on the all new Hello to go um yeah um we mentioned clothes. Do you, do, you, do you like men who dress really good? Oh. Oh. <laughs> you can tell from the expression, right, that <laughs> I do. <laughs> oh, my goodness, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Who, one, give me one person that comes to mind that you think dresses really good all over the world. All over the world? Any person, that maybe in Ghana, maybe outside Ghana, one person. Wow, that's really difficult. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I can't. Maybe I'll give you an idea. We've got um, top five best dressed celebrities in the world I'm going to run you through the list and see if um, you think any of them you know mm -hmm. might might do it for you at number five I was voted for by GQ magazine um, number five is Kanye West it doesn't do it for you no <laughs> <laughs> number four is Daniel Craig James Bond well you know the thing is Kanye has his, his way of dressing yeah. and Daniel has his way yeah, of dressing, yeah. so no. Not Keep going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, I was very surprised and impressed to find him there. But come to think of it, he's a fashion designer. He does top quality stuff, and he's from Ghana. He's been on this show before. His name is Oswald Watin. Oh, he has. Um, I think his suit line is fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, he's he's good. He's good too. You like how he dresses? He's good. Okay. It still doesn't do it for Moving you. on. <laughs> okay. So number two, another major surprise for me when I found it, another Ghanaian. Um, I'm not surprised by the fact that he was there because he's a very, very good dresser. Um, but for him to go the extent of being the top in the top five best dressers in the world, I was very surprised by it. Um, he's like a big brother to me. His name is Kwesi Che Dakwa KKD. Oh, no, you can't do that to me. You can't put me on the spot. Like, I'm on TV. <laughs> um, he's, he's good. He's all right. <laughs> the expression on your face was like, he's all right. No, I didn't say nothing. <laughs> but he's good. He's just as good. Okay, yeah. so um, number one has been there, according to the, the survey, has been there for the last five years. And, um, yeah, I take some inspiration from him as well. I think he has good taste in, in clothing. He puts on the jeans and the t-shirt, puts it on really well. He's going to put on suits. He put, even when he's on the football field, he's got style to it, man. This guy... David Beckham? David Beckham. <gasps> David <Yeah>. Beckham. <laughs> he dresses really good. Oh, yeah. David he's Beckham is absolutely amazing. Yeah. Now, you can tell from the expression, you know. Yeah. yeah. David <laughs> Beckham. <laughs> I think um, two years ago, we did uh, top um, 10 um, sexiest Ghanaian female celebrities. And she came in at number two. I don't know if you heard about that. Really? Yeah. Wow, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you think you're sexy? Um, I, 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are. I'm sure everybody will agree with you. She's actually blushing. I'm, I am, right? Like, yeah, it's a great compliment. Well, it depends on your definition of sexy. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I'm sure everybody would agree with me. Um, so there you go. So let's talk about festival. I mean, it's, it's, it's the festival most um, actress and actors in, in Africa would want to be a part of, but some hardly get a chance to be a part of. But you were there. Tell us about it. Um, that festival, um, I was... I was in LA um, working on a personal project, like I said earlier. I was having lunch with my mom and my cousin, and a representative of the, of the festival came up to me, and he was like, oh my goodness, Nadia Bari, wow, like we're having this festival, and we would be more than happy to have you a part of it, you know, because we had heard you were in town, but we just didn't know how to reach you, you know, and I was like, wow, like the Pan-African Film Festival, like awesome, I definitely would want to be a part of it. Um, yeah, so then um, they took me through the whole um, lineup, the whole schedule. Um, the first day was um, the premiere of the movie 35 and Taken, and they had like a lot of African American actors that we from this part of the world hold highly. You know, like we really know them as like huge celebrities. And um, I was very privileged to be with them and do the red carpet with them, okay. you know. Um, and then the, the the next day was the 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 honoring of the lady, um, the actress Felicia Richard. Um, Felicia we Richard. all know her as um, Claire Haxtable yeah, of the Cosby, Cosby Show. Show. Yes, yeah. um, they honored her, and um, again I was humbled to be with her. You know, and the thing that brought tears to my eyes was during that time, that night. Um, the host came on stage and introduced me to everybody, like the whole auditorium, and I was like, no, no way, don't do that. And he was like, ladies and gentlemen, we have in our midst uh, Ghana's best actress, whatever, 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 and um, I had to get up and wait to all of them, and nice. these were, yes. And my goodness, I was like, I was telling my mom, pinch me, this is not true, this is not true. Like, it's, it's really humbling to know that these people that I watch, I grew up watching, yes. I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm in the midst of them, you know, and I'm saying hello. And they gave me that recognition, and it was awesome, that was you great. know, yeah. And then the third day, they wanted to introduce me to the, the American media. Um, so I did a little interview with a lot of the American media, LA Times, you know, a whole lot of them. So it was awesome. Yeah, definitely, I had fun. Definitely, definitely. It sounds good, you know. <laughs> really sounds good. Now, this is something that you live for, you know. You know, somebody know the problem. Chop and cherry pie. So I 